Guys, we're back with the Fit 8 Morning Show, and like I promised, we'd have awesome guests. And right now, I have the most feared woman on the platform, Miss <laughs> Maddie Rogers. Hi. For those of you who don't know who she is, probably the baddest, hottest oh weightlifter God. in the country, Team USA, yeah. right here. Maddie, what's going on? You're 21 now. Yep. You're old enough to hang out. You, you know, I follow you on Instagram. I'm like the rest of the world does. <laughs> How hard is it to be a 21 year old, want to be young, but work out and work as hard as you do? Um, I mean, a lot of people, they probably think I don't do anything. They think it's like, just wait, lift, like eat, sleep, lift. And there's a time for that. Yeah. And that was like leading up until Rio. But I mean, now I just took a full month off. I went on like four different vacations. Like, awesome. There's, yeah. there's a time where I can be like a regular 21 year old and do my thing, so. Yeah, cool. So now when you, like right after Rio, when you start to pick it up and you're like, all right, I gotta get back into training mode. Um, I mean, we kind of started like regular training again like a week ago, but yeah. I mean, it's a four year quad. So if yeah. I like went balls to the wall now, there's no way I would last until 2020. So yeah. we gotta kind of pace it and like, 2018, 2019 is when we're really gonna hit it hard. I, I'd say maybe two, three years ago, I started following you on Instagram. And, you know, everybody's talking about this beautiful blonde who's this <laughs> awesome weightlifter. How does somebody, you know, it's so easy to fall into the like, well, I'd rather just go party and hang out. I mean, how tempting was it as a teenager to wanna go and be a teenager and not lift? And what got uh, you into lifting? Well, I didn't, I wasn't like a huge like partier in high yeah. school or anything. So I didn't even find my way to like, that until uh, this year really yeah. so I was pretty I was a pretty tame like teenager yeah um and then I started with CrossFit I did CrossFit for like a year I competed here a couple times which was awful yeah. but, um, and then I just switched into weightlifting because it was just more suited for me so were you, did you find that you were a lot better at weightlifting than you were at like the general sport the sport of CrossFit um it took a while. Yeah. I kind of sucked at first, but I mean, everybody does. Yeah. Um, CrossFit, I was decent just because I was a gymnast, but the cardio part was just Brutal. Awful. Yeah. You didn't like the burn. <laughs> no. So I, it's like, I, I watch you lift and I'm like, it's just flawless. You know, I, how long Not do you yet. think? What? Not yet. That's pretty good though. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who are like, I wish I could look like her. <laughs> I was watching a video not too long ago, I'd say two, three weeks ago, and I'm just like, the bottom of your snatch is just perfect. It's unbelievable. Yo, know, when did you when did you realize you're like, man, I could be really good at this? Oh, uh, I think my first national meet was when yeah. like I saw like the USA singlet, and I was like, how? Like, why well, didn't even know what it was? I didn't yeah. know what good was. Obviously, it's like, all right, you can go to the Olympics in this sport, but yeah. after that, um, that was. January 2014, and after that, I like I moved back home. I quit school. I quit my job. I was yeah. just, like weightlifting only. That's a ballsy move for a young kid to make. Yeah. You know, uh, like what were what were your parents saying to you when you're like, all right, I'm gonna quit my job. I'm gonna do. It. I'm just gonna weightlift. Were they like, are you crazy? Yeah. I mean, because yeah. my mom, I think she's seen me compete like once. Um, Sorry. It's okay. But I mean, she's always kind of been like, do your thing. Like whatever yeah. you want to do, just do it yeah <laughs> that's about it but i think you and, and it's worked out obviously i mean how surreal was that you're at the olympics i mean even before that you're training at the uh, olympic weightlifting uh whatever the hell you call it the compound yeah. out in colorado it's like it's got to be like wow how the hell did i wind up here yeah what's going through your mind when you get there <laughs> well at the olympics it was more of like well, shit, I should, like, I wish I was competing instead of sitting here watching. Yeah. But, I mean, it was still so surreal just to, like, watch the Olympic athletes, like, compete yeah. on the stage. Like, <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah. So, what, when you, now, when you, looking forward, looking forward, you're you're thinking, hey, I, I have already, I've already accomplished so much. What's my next goal? Well, obviously, I'd like to make an Olympic yeah. team. So, yeah. I mean, 2020. 2024, 2028. <laughs> so go like is your is your nutrition dialed in? I know with a lot of CrossFit athletes, they talk about nutrition, how important that is. Yeah. I see a lot of weightlifters, especially you know uh, from other countries and stuff, kind of heavy. Obviously the heavyweights, the bigger yeah. guys. Do you take nutrition as serious as you do as your your training? Yeah. Yeah. I've been working with RP Strength for about a year now. My guy, Nick Shaw. So yeah. The man. And I mean, I understood what clean eating was, but yeah. I didn't know a whole lot about like 
the amount or the timing or anything like that. So they once they taught me that, that actually like changed a lot of my performance. Like yeah. 100% honest, like I moved up a weight class and like that's when I made Team USA and all that. And you just felt better. Yeah, so yeah. much better. So enough about weightlifting. Okay. I know there's a hundred young guys out there <laughs> who are wondering, she's the hottest chick in weightlifting. <laughs> She's the best chick in weightlifting. What, what's your situation? What's going on with Maddie Rogers? Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm single. But... I'm, I'm sure. What's your DM look like? What's oh, your? Oh, <laughs> it's kind of a shit show. <laughs> Go ahead, tell us something. What's the worst thing you've gotten in a DM? Well, aside from the the pictures, I get I get some of those. You get some of those. I get inappropriate oh, pictures. Oh yeah. yeah. I get some really bad pickup lines. Um, I get a lot of proposals, which is weird. Really? So weird. Yeah, it's so fucking weird. But, I mean, sometimes get, people get pissed off. They're like, will you marry me? And I don't answer. And then they're like, fuck you. Like, well, I'm like, are you mad at me? <laughs> they're shocked that you didn't <laughs> say yes. Yeah. So, I mean, you get all this stuff. You got all this attention. Your friends growing up, you know, yeah. they're like, you're this international celebrity for weightlifting. What do, you, what do your girlfriends say to you? Because they're probably not, I mean, some of them, I'm sure you hang out with plenty of weightlifters, but some of the girls who never really took that on. What do, what do they think about all your fame and celebrity? I mean, when I like switched to weightlifting, I pretty much dropped all my friends too. Like, really? I, yeah. Because um, I was in cheerleading before that, so yeah, they're all like so. the cheerleading friends. And I still like talk to them, but none of them that I'm like really close with. So yeah. as of now, all my good friends are in the gym with me every in the, day. In so. the weightlifting and world. And it's like, yeah. it's just a schmuck. She lifts next to me sometimes. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. And now, I mean, having a huge social media following like you do, I'm sure there's brands approaching you like crazy. What's that like for you? Um, at first, it would like stress me out because I didn't want to say no, but I didn't yeah. want to say yes. So then um, I got it. Actually, Camille LeBlanc reached out to me and she's like, hey, like, this is my agent's number. You should talk to him. Oh, cool. So she hooked me up with her agent who I've been working with for a year now, and he handles yeah. all of that. So okay. I love it. I don't have to talk so to what do you just forward all him, though, all those DMs? Pretty much. The dick pics, too? No, he doesn't get those. <laughs> so who's, I mean, you're a beautiful girl. You're young. Thank you're accomplished. You. Who's your crush? My Who do you have an eye on? Come on, there's got to be somebody you follow on Instagram or some celebrity. It's kind of got your eye. I don't know, though, because there's nobody that I, like, know really well. Like, I'll see something like, damn. But, like, there's nobody that I'm like, I want to marry you. But you got, there's got to be somebody. There's got to be some. What's Maddie's type? We're going to play a little game. What's Maddie? I don't have Maddie's? a type, though. You don't have a type. I don't think I have Everybody's a type. Everybody's got a type. Dude, I don't know. Three turnoffs for you. Cocky? Uh, Doesn't weight lift. Not even. Okay. I mean, they can't weigh less than me. That's a little weird. That's, that's yeah, that'd be a weird. problem. All right, so that was number two. Yeah. Number three. I don't know. Just don't be freaking weird. <laughs> three turn ons. Three turn ons. Good taste in music. Okay. Um, athletic, I guess. Yeah. Okay. And. I don't know. Just easy to talk to. I easy guess. to talk to. I there you go. Don't like douchebags, okay. which is. <laughs> so, so, what's your type of music? What's three songs that you need to play? Like when you're lifting and you got to get in the zone, three songs that you need on. I don't listen to a lot of like just songs. I play a lot of like EDM mixes. Okay, you're so, that younger generation of like yeah. house music, yeah. EDM stuff. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's my favorite. You know what I don't understand about that whole world is like these girls love these DJs, yep. and I've seen and I've had the the privilege of meeting some of these guys. Yeah. And they're all like twerpy 19 year old like Dutch guys. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, but girls love these guys. They're like, I they love do. Avicii. I go, have you ever seen what that guy looks like? You know, he's like the furthest thing from a weightlifter. <laughs> oh, yeah. But they don't care. <laughs> yeah, no, no, nobody does. Well, listen, Maddie, I really appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. How, how do you like being down here in Miami, hanging I out at Wadapalooza? And you've competed here before. Yeah, I competed two years ago, and I yeah. coached last year. So I, I'm pretty much here every year. Cool. All right. Well, we love having you here. We'll see you at the party later tonight. Oh, yeah. Is Maddie Rogers going to be partying tonight? Yeah. Okay. We'll keep the cameras away from you, though. Please do. Maddie, thank you so much for coming on the show. Guys, check her out. What's your Instagram handle? Maddie Cakes with five S's. Whoa. There you go. Maddie with five S's. All right. We'll see you guys just in a little bit. Maddie, thank you again. Thank you.